My name is Rina Chen. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to welcome our little friend, Panda. So I'm going to show you how to put, do the Panda Bear. Panda belongs to the uh, bear family. It's uh, in growing in southern China. And now they, it's all over the world too. They are very easy to recognize because uh, they have a very big uh, black patch uh, around the eye, around the ear, around the body, and the feet. So it's uh, easy to how to do the back white too. So I'm going to show you how the way I do the panda bear. Thank you. First, uh, I like to show you the simple anatomy of the panda, of like all the animals. They have nose, they have eye, and they have an ear, and they have mouth. and they have a big head. And we have a neck. For neck. And the long body. And the long body. And uh, of course, then they have their specialty. They are around the eye. And the ear have all black. And uh, below the neck. And the, the all the neck is it's all black. They're all black. And uh, for the palm, the special is. Uh, Have a five finger and there was a, a bone stick out acting like a thumb. So that's a, a, the specialty of the panda. Thank you. Now we're going to show you a couple of examples of uh, uh, how I do it in the ink style to the panda. Usually I use, use uh, black ink. I do the nose and the eye and the ear. them first. Then I use uh, night ink. Night ink to the mouth. This is the big, bigger, bigger hat. I use very dark ink to dot the eye. Then I use a bigger brush, night ink first, then go into dark ink. I'm going to all the way to the black body part and the, the, the neck. 
So all the way. And get the other feet down. And get another third feet down. And four feet. Then use uh, the black to the fingers. Use right ink to finish outline the body. Finish outline the body. So that's basically so the, the panda are finished. Now I use a uh, little bamboo, you know, pen, panda like a bamboo. So I'm going to just draw a little bamboo to, for the supporting, supporting role. Medium, medium dark ink to the join and the branch. And just use a dark ink to the leaves. Okay, that's it. Just use the bamboo to the, to the body part. Thank you. Now I go to another example. Uh, same thing, you use dark ink to do it to the nose. Eye. And the ear, then except that this one I'm going to do the color. So I use stone green and the stone blue, that the eye. That eye. Then use light, light ink outline. And the not and the mouth. Okay. Then I use a bigger brush 
light ink and go into dark ink. Do the black black bill around the neck. And the shoulder for the, the feet. Because I want them turned over. Then I'm going to put the feet stick up. Up. Then they have the other, other feet supposed to stick out in here, so we have to show them. Now I use uh, night ink. How to night? How to night the feet? And uh, dark ink. To lead a finger. Just a little finger. Then. And the body. And uh, then, in the feet, I usually use a little bit of night ink, the bottom, the bottom of the, should be right color. Just put a little, show the right color. So basically that's the, the panda finish. Now I'm just going to try to do a little bit of, Green bamboo. Try to jolly the bamboo. Just fill them. Then use dark, dark green to the leaves. Okay, just do it. I go around to do the bamboo. Thank you. Today I show you the way I do the panda in black and white, and uh, with the bamboo too. And uh, I think uh, you all can do go to find the panda and uh, pick a company with you. Next time, I'm going to show you something different which will be the vegetable and the fruit. And uh, the vegetable and the fruit is a big section in Chinese painting too. 
Uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh, different things. So I just going to show you a couple in our next couple section. Thank you for coming.